1981, after merrily we roll along, Prince and Sondheim's partnership as they knew it ended. They each began working with new collaborators on different paths. They did not reunite for a major musical again for over 20 years. This musical was Bounce. <laughs> told the story of the ex eccentric real estate moguls, the Meisner brothers, Woo! Wilson and Addison. Their lives were actually chronicled in the 1952 story called The Last Resorts, if you remember that from the beginning, which Sondheim attempted to musicalize in the 1950s. Irving Berlin also attempted to make a musical of their story, but it was never finished. So in 1999, Sondheim's first version of the show, called Wise Guys, premiered at New York Theatre Workshop. It was directed by Sam Mendes. In 2003, the show was significantly rewritten, and this time directed by Hal Prince. It received productions in Chicago and Washington, D.C. that were aimed for New York. But the show didn't make it back to New York for another nine years, and this time it was under the title of Roadshow, Direction of John Doyle at the Public Theater. Critics and audiences alike have the highest of expectations for a new Sondheim musical. And this also happened to be Sondheim's first musical comedy since Forum in 1963. While the musical had a nice run, it never transferred to a commercial production. The show did include the first significant gay couple in a Sondheim musical. Addison Meisner's romance with the wealthy young Hollis Bessemer was chronicled and received one of the most beloved songs in the score. The best thing that ever has happened. Playing Addison in Hal Prince's production of Bounce was the great Richard Kind. <laughs> theater performer, singing very well indeed, and effortlessly communicating all of the characters' conflicting emotions from joy to frustration to shame. Here to sing from Bounce, original cast member Richard Kahn. I, I, will, I will tell you my, my, when I was a kid, <laughs> most kids uh, wanted to be, uh, play center field for the Yankees or be uh, Mick Jagger or something like that. I wanted to do an original Sondheim Prince musical. This was not going to happen. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll, you will, I will prove to you later on why I should never have been, especially when, uh, you know, preceded by these voices over here. I sing, but I am not a great singer, certainly never expected to do this. However, it was my dream. And I get a, an audition for this musical. And Hal and looks at the list of who's coming in, and uh, he calls my agent, and he says, I know Richard Kind. He happens to be in a TV show with, uh, with my son-in-law, uh, Sandy Chaplin. Uh, and I, he's quite great, right? Yes, you might clap. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandy, uh, and he goes, I know, uh, I know uh, Richard's work. He's terrific. He's not right for it. Okay. <laughs> my manager finds out, unbeknownst to me, she calls up house house office and said, look, this is a dream. Uh, I let, let him audition. Of course, you don't have to give him the part. And they relented, and I came in, and I auditioned. And I sang the song, and then Hal gives me a scene, and then he directs me the scene. And it's unbelievable. I can't, I can't believe it. And there's the, you know, the Mount Rushmore of about five or six people. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, and then I leave, and then the next day, I was very lucky. I was friends with uh, Hal Linden, who was doing cabaret at the time, the revival of cabaret. And he used to get a car, and we liked to play golf together. And I'm driving in this car in the back seat, and I get a phone call, and it says, Hal Prince for Richard Kind. And I, I, I go, oh, okay. And uh, I'll say, hold, please. And then, Pow, we're going to have a great time. You're going to love it. You're going to love working with me. I'm terrific. It's a great show. He's selling me. <laughs> Tell me that I got the job. <laughs> he's just telling me it's going to be a great show. It's going to be a party. You're going to love it. Kid, kid, you're going to have a great time. I love to work with him. Okay, and I, I hang up and I look at Meyer Rothschild, who's sitting next to me, and I start to cry because truly this is a literal dream come true. 
And the reason why I'm here tonight is because sometimes they, they say the worst thing that can happen to a dream is to have it come true. <laughs> this was leaps and bounds better than one could ever, ever imagine. To echo what Eric said earlier, um, when you were around him, there was kindness, there was intelligence. You were elevated. He was a gentleman, not just a gentleman of the theater, but a gentleman of the world. He is what you expected from a cosmopolitan New Yorker and a man of letters. He was so kind and liked me so much and would have me sit across his desk. And he was just a great guy, much less a genius. And he never wore the genius on his sleeve. He just was. And uh, that's why I'm here tonight to tell you that. gets wrong, that's all right. Bounce along, just travel light. You go off the track, don't look back. That's the thing that counts. You hit a few bumps, you make a few gaps, you learn how to bounce. You take a few lumps, you have a few laughs, and all the while you bounce. Don't dwell on the times that you fail. Remember the times when you sail. Find a new road. Forge a new trail. Bounce. The road may get rough. Who knows in advance? Be ready to bounce. You need that brilliance, just resilience. You do it enough. You look for the chance. You see it and you pounce when you spend reinvent. Don't toil about the few trends. And with style, we've made a few friends for a while from all we've been through. From dealing with you, I've learned how to bounce. Say you gotta head west, and that's the thing that counts. We're still pioneers like before, a lot of frontiers to explore. 